This is David, WA9ONY. I'm going to show how I installed GQRX on a Raspberry Pi 3B. First of all, we go to Noobs. We get the current version of Noobs because its software install will be different than the old version. In the process of installing Noobs, we will update the system and everything will be fine. The background looks like my Raspberry Pi 4. We go I set up complete. After the complete, we will reset, reboot the Raspberry and operating system. Here we boot it back up. The first thing is go to install software programs. And we're going to do a search for GQRX. This will search the repository. And this will be different than my older Raspberry and operating systems. Here we found GQRX. It's not selected yet. We need to select it in the little white box. Now it's ready to be installed. We will then click the apply button. That apply button will start the install process. This will take a few minutes. After it's done installing, we will exit and reboot the computer. So here we are done installing. We go ahead and say OK and exit. And then we reboot the computer. This I, I find to be a much safer installation by rebooting the computer after every install or uninstall. We're going to start with RTL underscore test that's also installed. Dash X S for sample rate 1024. 000. We see that the RTL-SDR.com version 3 is working fine. Usually it'll lose a few bytes at the beginning. Control C exits this command line program. And now we're ready to start GQRX. This is the first screen that we see. And we're going to have to change two things. First is the device on the top. We're going to change that to the RTL. And then after we change that, we are going to change the sample rate. The default sample rate of 1.8 meg is not a standard frequency for the RTL. So we change that to 1024.000. After that, we go ahead and hit OK. And that's going to start up GQRX. It's not running this time. It's basically ready to run. In fact, we can see the CPU usage is zero here. We go ahead and click on the arrow, and we change the frequency to a strong FM station in the area. In my case, that's 103.3 KKCW. And we go ahead and change the LNA gain. The FFT settings weren't changed. We did change the, um, uh, basically, from the default AM to wideband uh, FM. And then uh, we did selected mono. That's the only thing that was changed in here so we could receive the FM station. So LNA is real sensitive. Be careful that uh, don't overdrive it. It was max gain when I uh, set it up. Now the audio is not running, so you go up in the right corner, select the analog or HDMI, and uh, I found that the audio setting was set to zero. We set that to an appropriate level.